Welcome to the second episode of the Amiga CD32 review project. This time around I've taken a look at the cutesy platformer that is Alfred Chicken. And unlike Akira, the travesty of a game that I looked at in last episode, this is in fact a very enjoyable game. The game is developed by Twilight and published by Mindscape in 1993. And as I've always said, it's a platform game. Controlling Alfred Chicken, you set out to rescue a bunch of other chickens who've been captured by some evil spaceman. This game is not your regular run from left to right or top to bottom platformer. It features large levels that you have to traverse both in width and height and a strong focus on environmental puzzle solving means that you'll often revisit areas multiple times. In the beginning of the game you'll often need to track down buttons that turn some platforms on and off and then return to previous areas to use these blocks to gain access to yet other areas. All this while controlling a red chicken in a cute and colorful but deadly environment. Sounds like fun, right? The puzzles you need to solve to progress gets harder as the game goes on. Take a look at this little gem of a puzzle from level 6. When you make the faces on the block smile by pecking at them with your beak, the maze-like thingy follows you. And when you make the faces frown, it falls down again, which you can use to trigger buttons. Excellent level design right there, if you ask me. The game also has some non-platformer elements. In between levels there's a small mini-game where you fly upwards at a fixed speed while attempting to pick up all the presents to earn an extra life. Another non-platformer part are the boss fights, where you play this small shoot 'em up controlling Alfred while he tries to shoot down the alien kidnapper. These parts are definitely enjoyable, but the platforming is where it's at if you ask me. But enough about my opinions for now. Let's take a look at what some of the magazines wrote about Alfred Chicken back in the day. Amiga Power gave the game a 75% score and they said this takes the prize for the month's most improved on the CD32 game with the addition of some pleasant parallax scrolling backdrops that weren't in the rather sparse looking A500 version as well as the usual CD soundtrack and 256 color graphics. CU Amiga gave it 86%. And they said, it's not all leaping and killing though. There are puzzles to be solved, bonus games to be played, and secret rooms to be found. Altogether, these elements make Alfred Chicken completely addictive and totally weird. The One gave it 87%, and they wrote, with its much enhanced graphics, superb bouncy soundtrack, and immense playability, Alfred proves to be a bit of a cork, and it's certainly one of the finest platform games you'll see on your CD32 at the moment. Alfred Chicken on the Amiga CD32 was an absolute joy to play. But then again, I love a good platformer and a puzzle game, so this is right up my alley. I give it a 4 out of 5 points. <laughs> 